Good morning. Um, for anyone that's interested, I'm going to do three wing transplants today. There, I don't know whether you can see, but they're all missing a bit. I think all three are four wings. There's one in the bottom. So we're going to fix them up and send them on their way to Mexico. I'm just going to quickly show you what I've got to do it. I got the wings. These are hind wings. These are four wings. I think it's four wings I need. And I use a refrigerated glass. It's an old chopping board of mine. And it's refrigerated, so it's nice and cool, which slows them down. Uh, they don't actually fly below 65, I think it is. Anyway, there's greaseproof paper on top just to protect the scales of the wings. Although it is a myth, you can touch them, you can hold them. But let me show you an older one. I, pr I most definitely won't use this. You can see... The scales are coming off of that one, and it's just it's just really old and worn. You probably won't use that one. These are newer. That's another old one. You can see they go kind of transparent. So the colour is actually on the scales and the veins. So I'll probably, hopefully, use one of these. And then contact cement. We just overlap them and and glue them really it's it's a bit like i used to when i was a kid i used to have dinosaur sets that i would make and glue and stick and then paint apart from the painting not much different baby powder don't use johnson's really because it's got aluminium in it is it aluminium i think so aluminum do, 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 do. anyway baby powder you just chuck it on over the top once it's glued and hopefully set, you just tap a little baby powder with some cotton buds onto the join and make sure that there's no um, glue left so they don't stick together. When they're at rest, obviously, you can see they close their wings. And that would be mortifying. No, just some scissors to cut. Because obviously you have to cut it in a certain angle just to overlap make sure it's correct it's the right length it's the same length as the other one or they'll be like a one-legged duck swimming in circles so that is my kit i'll see you in a minute for the repairs back again so this is the first time i've ever had to do this with a cat in the house and it's locked in the bedroom she i don't know if you can see this this little baby is missing the top of the forewing and i will tell you oh look there's upia this is a boy yay me and you can tell that for anyone interested oh gosh i've done it for the camera they've got two little dots on their hind wings that's their scent glands just there and only the boys have scent glands because they're smelly so we're gonna see i've got myself a left forewing Ta -da. i think yeah and now I just have to measure it and see where to cut it. In fact, this little baby's actually got a little flappy bit. So we're just going to cut that off where the tear ends. Like that. And I don't know if I can get any closer. There's one in there that's really, really anxious to get out and get on the road. And I don't blame them. So this little bit, it takes some time, but it's... No, don't flap. I can feel the coal coming off of the breadboard. 
So apart from my fingers, this little boy should be cooling down about now. Okay. So what you're seeing there is, ooh, sorry, I'm not very good at this, am I? What you're seeing there is this piece tucked in. Let go. And we're gonna try and match the pattern, just like a jigsaw, just simple. If you stop holding on to me. So we could cut quite a lot of this off. And I say we can cut up there. I hope. Because if I cut the wrong bit off, I'm going to run out of wings. So always, oh, there we go, that's not bad. Always check the front of your cars. And if you find any, I mean, you could technically make a Frankenstein's monster and you could put a different species wing onto this. So you could put, say, I don't know, a black swallowtail wing on a monarch. Not sure he's going to have many friends, but as long as they're the same shape and the same size, a piece of cardboard would work if you want to colour it in. Give it to your kids. See, have a little colour. Yeah, I like that. So now what I'm going to do is just pull that wing up. And move his antenna out of the way. Move it. This is like physiotherapy now because I'm stretching his little wing the wrong way round. Well, not the wrong way. I'm just... I'm just stretching it up and the other's down. should really do this before I get the butterfly out. So I'm going to put a dab of contact cement or lots on my stick. And then let's pull that back so you could see. And then I'm going to Glue across, not that you can see, I'm really sorry. No antennas. Oh, yeah, bugger. There you go. And I know contact cement, you're supposed to leave it a while, aren't you? I believe. Um, but I don't. That's it. That's all you do. Obviously, you've got to wait a while. And then, it's off a cotton bud. Dip it in the talc. Blow it away from their face and make them sneeze. So I had his antennas. 
if you've ever watched the other video, you will see in it that I do in fact glue the butterfly's antenna to his wing. But I see what I did and I correct it immediately and, and he went off and he's fine. There you go, mate. Well done. Um, but obviously I don't, I don't want to do that again. There, his little hand. Little antenna fine and his wings fine. For obvious reasons, I don't want to let him go in here because I got a cat. So I'll take him outside. See you in a minute. So here we are. I'm just gonna pop the little man there. Oh, all right then. Ciao. And there he is. Seems happy enough. What my lantana instead? Here he goes. No, nope, he's coming back. Hello. Oh. Okay, so he's just landed on my hand. Hi. Bye. You can't go back in. Oh. It's going to be lizard food if he stays out there. Anyway, number one done. <laughs>